Hey everyone, and welcome to the sixth episode in my Cat Clicker game tutorial series. Today, I'm really excited because we are going to be adding little cat minions that will jump up and down and make you money for literally no reason, just because they're minions. Now that sounds awesome, and on top of that, I'm going to be adding another cat accessory into the game, yes, and it is the sunglasses. But before we get into the video, don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot to me. Also, leave a comment down below. I love reading through your comments. But anyway, let's start coding. But before we can do that, I need to show you these sprites and costumes you will need. So right here, I have a new sprite called Minion. And within this, I have two costumes. One called Minion 1 and one Minion 2. In Minion 1, it's kind of just another version of our cat, but a little bit minion -ier. And then Minion 2, which is just like a squash jumping version. So those are the two costumes in there. Then in the accessory, I have another one called sunglasses, which you saw in the intro, and they are just some sunglasses positioned on the cat's face. Then in the UI, I have, I think, two new ones. Yeah. One upgrade is called Cool Cat, and it's the sunglasses chance of randomly gaining 100 to 200 cats. And then the kitty minion gives 100 cats per jump. So every time these guys jump, you get 100 cats. Let's start by making the shop a little bit bigger. I want to be able to hold four upgrades on screen at once instead of just three like now. First, click onto the UI of course and find this look hoverable and change this Y position less than negative 90. Okay, so that'll allow four to be shown at once, but now we need to move the whole entire shop down. So find the shop equals to two and let's go ahead and change this to like 170. Then for clone ID equals to three, let's adjust this. So try 211. 11 actually looks almost perfect. So now we can go back to clone ID equals to 2 and change this to like 75 looks perfect. So now we can have a bunch of upgrades on the shop at once and it just kind of looks a little better. But when we close it, now it's doing this. So go ahead and go to the top of the main clone loop and find this heap of code right here. Next, we want to do in this else, the negative 30 changes to like 22 looks good. So now, boom, we can open and close it. So now that we have this out of the way, let's Let's add another upgrade. So you know the drill. First of all, we need to go find the create clones amount and change this to nine. That way it creates the right amount. Find this main clone loop and duplicate this if clone ID equals to eight and go ahead and change that to nine because that is our brand new clone. Now we need to figure out the Y position. So take this 68 minus 55 and that is 13. So take this plus 13. So it's perfectly spaced. And for now, just put that in the else and clean up the block. Set the price to 300 and the multiplier to whatever. It doesn't really matter because this is the sunglasses. You can only buy them once. Now let's go ahead and get a total cats set and set that to a very big number. Go into full screen, buy some of these, buy some of these, buy that one, buy that one, buy this one, and oh wait, I forgot. We haven't actually programmed unlocking, which is something we need to do. So find this handle unlocking and go ahead and add nine to upgrades available right here. Oops, that's eight nine and do the wait after times bought is greater than two so that means we bought three of the previous upgrade then duplicate this and do if clone ID equals to nine and go ahead and unlock after times bought is greater than zero in there so now we can go back to the set total cats to the big number and go ahead and just buy through them so boom we unlock this one we unlock this one and after buying one two three of these we unlock cool cat and there we go it actually is working correctly so now we need to make it to where this guy can only be bought once. So remember last episode when we added this one to the can buy? All we need to do is add the clone ID in and it'll work perfectly. So add an and and duplicate this script and do clone ID equals nine. And now it's letting me buy the kitty crown multiple times. Okay guys, the reason I did the wrong one in this right here, it needs to be an or. So clone ID equals a six or is equal to nine. No matter how much money we have, we can't buy the kitty crowns again. And now if we try to buy buy this cool cat, it won't let me buy it again because I've bought it once. But it doesn't have the visual representation like this kitty crown does. So let's find the look block and add an or right here. So if clone ID equals to six or clone ID equals to nine right here. When we scroll down to the cool cat, it is also grayed out. So instead of negative nine, let's try negative 12 just to make it a little bit more obvious. That's grayed out and so is the cool cat. Go ahead and make it to where it'll actually give us the 
sunglasses. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. So find this by result and duplicate this and do if quantity equals to nine and take out this change. We don't want that. Duplicate this add and change this to sunglasses to cat accessory. Oh boy, let's see if this works. This would be awesome if it worked first try. Hey, okay, go through these upgrades, buy them, and now let's buy this cool cat. Boom, sunglasses on our cat. Okay, now we just need to position these a little bit better. So go into the costume of the accessory and go ahead and move it around until it looks like it's in the right spot. I think I've got it in the right position. It actually looks like our cat has sunglasses on now. Now we need to make it function because if you read in the UI what it does right here, cool cat, it gives you a chance of randomly gaining 100 to 200 cats. So let's go ahead and add that. Go into the click and do a win green flag clicked right here and then do a forever loop if statement cat accessory contains sunglasses. Make sure you spell it the same as you did in the other spot. Then we're going to wait, pick random four to six seconds. That way there's a little bit of a timer on it so it's not just spamming you with stuff. Then we're going to change the total cats by pick random 100 to 200. Then we're going to broadcast bonus because it gives us a little bonus so that's going to make it flash. So now let's see and we wait a bit. Well we don't get any items but if we go ahead and use add thing to cat accessory and copy and paste sunglasses in here so we get them wait a few seconds and see if we get some money there we go it flashed and we got 142 dollars let's move on to the minions because they are a little bit different from all the previous upgrades so find the main clone loop and duplicate this nine and change this to 10 then we are going to change this one to a minus so take 13 plus negative negative 55 and that is negative 42. Then we can change the shop Y minus 42, put that right there. Then put that in there and go ahead and clean up the blocks, set the base value to 500 and the multiplier to 25. So that is expensive. And then change the amount that is created to 10 up here. That way we have it. We're having the same problem as before our shop is filling up. Do if shop open equals to no and changes to like 200. We need to add the unlock after next tier in. So in the clone ID equals to nine, wait until greater than zero and add 10 to upgrades available. Duplicate this and do if clone ID equals to 10 and then just do that like so. And then we buy a cool cat and look at that, it unlocks the kitty minion. So now find the buy results and change this to if clone ID equals to 10 right here, add that in and then create clone of minion right here. So every time we buy that, it's going to make a new minion. Next Next in the minion, go ahead and click onto the minion. That didn't make sense, but whatever, I'm gonna roll with it. We need to add some programming. So do when green flag clicked, make a brand new block, run screen without refresh, of course, nameless reset like all the other ones. Now when we first start, we're going to reset. So we're going to hide, we're going to set, and now we need to make a new variable. So name this minion spawn x for all sprites and click OK. Now in the reset, we're gonna set the minion spawn x to negative 250 so it's all the way right here now we're going to pull out a when i start as a clone a forever loop a wait one second then we're going to make a new for the sprite only variable and name this minion y click ok and then right here we're going to set the minion y to seven so that way it jumps up a bit change the total cats by 100 and that is actually it so every once in a while it's going to just jump up a little bit and it's going to look really cute. Now we need to make a new variable and name this minion jump time and make this for all sprites and click OK. Now in the beginning we're going to wait minion jump time plus pick random 0 to 0 0.5 seconds. That way it's a little bit offset from each other so it's not all the same. Next we're going to pull out a when I start as a clone right underneath here. Then we're going to do reset. Next in the reset we're going to add a few things. We're going to set size to 25% go to front and you can go ahead and put that on top so that way it's all organized go to minion spawn x and y negative 50 then when i start as a clone right off the bat before the reset we're going to change minion spawn x by 50 and then after the reset we're going to show like that 
And actually, I'm sorry, I didn't realize, take all of this out and put that in the when I started as a clone. Go ahead and do change the minion spawn X, go to there, and then do all of that. So now as soon as we do that, if we create clone, as you can see, they're all evenly spaced, and it goes across the screen like that, and it actually looks really cool. Now we just need to add some gravity. So do a forever loop, then add a new block and name this gravity, and make sure you do run screen without refresh. Next, put that right here, and then do forever gravity. Gravity. Now we are going to change the Y position by minion Y, change the minion Y by negative one, then do an if else and do touching the edge because that's the bottom of the screen, then repeat until not touching the edge, switch costume to minion one, and then change Y by ones, and then else switch costume to minion two while it's falling. Next, if we start the project and create this clone, Y. Wow, that is a little bit crazy. It's trying to take off to the moon. That's because we don't actually have the minion wait time to anything. So go into the click, find the reset, and set minion jump wait time to 2 for 2 seconds. And now start the project and then go into the minion and create clone. It'll fall to the bottom of the screen, jump up, and make us 100 points. And actually, the reason it's not giving us cats every time is because we did set total cat. We want to change the total cats by. 100. So now it's actually going to work and give us 100 cats every single time it jumps, which is very good. And of course, this starts snowballing if we have a ton of minions like now, because look at that. It's very good because they're all jumping up and making us money. Now we need to add a little bit of a limit because right now, if you buy enough, it's going to go off of the screen. So find the can buy and let's add some condition. Right here in this normal can buy, we want to add and if else right here and put this in the else and in the if we want to do an equals and do if the clone id equals to 10 which is our minion then we want to add if statement inside of here and do if minion spawn x is less than 200 so that means that we haven't gone off the screen then we are going to do buy results and buy effects in there so let's go ahead and test this to make sure it's working set our total cats to a really big number and let's go through all of our upgrades. So here is a lazy mouse. Here's a meow power. Okay, kitty crown that works. Auto petter. Fishy cat food that all works. And then cool cat. And now let's buy a kitty minion. Yes, this works. And hopefully it's jumping. Yep, it's jumping. So now if we go ahead and buy a ton. Well, look at this. We can't buy anymore because I'm clicking. But we made it to the max amount of minions. Now we just need to make it fade out. So that way we can tell that we can't buy it anymore. And everything's going to be good. So in the look right here, add an if statement and do if clone ID equals to 10, take out these ors and and take out the times bot. Next, we're going to do a greater than right here. The minion spawn X is greater than 190 and then put that on the bottom and set the brightness effect to negative 12. So now, now once we look at the kitty minion and we bought the max amount, look at that. It is actually working correctly. That is amazing. You can see that it is grayed out as well as the cool cat. So now I have one problem. As you can see, we can cycle through all of these and the cost goes on the correct one, but we can also do it down here off of the shop. So right here is where we do this. So let's add another if statement in there. Greater than and do y position is greater than negative 90 and add that in. So now it won't let me go through the cost, but it still changes the cost, but it just doesn't change the y position. So duplicate that if right there and we need to go ahead ahead and find the set current cost custom block and we need to add this if. So right here we're also going to add the if the y position. So now boom it won't let us hover over ones that aren't on screen currently. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot to me. But anyway this has been Owen and I am out.